April 27th. I'm getting ready to head out and uh, just warn some more people along the way, you know, just letting people know, finding out the signs. I mean, it's pretty clear to me something's about to happen. You know, they say we'll be changed in a moment in the twinkling of the eye. But let me tell you something, my friends. I've seen a lot of change over time. And these clouds I'm looking at, they don't look like nothing of this earth. Um, they even have a transparent look to them. Look at this, man. Can you not see that? How much different they look? I mean, the sky, the background that they're even sitting in doesn't even look real. Not at all. Let me blow it up a little bit. Those clouds don't look nothing like anything of this world, what it used to be. But we have to remember, God's ways aren't our ways. And something is about to happen here. I'm not sure what, but something's about to happen. I mean, there ain't no way. I mean, those clouds do not look like anything of this world. They look like they're being transformed. Something's changing. Just as it said it's going to happen to us. But yet, nobody seems to notice. You know? People just walking by like nothing's going on. And you got people with their turquoise green looking hair, purple hair, whatever. It's red. Hanging over one eye. <coughs> That's what I've been saying, you know. We have to repent of this world. Most people that are getting this message, you probably already done that. You know, um, and then you probably already picked up your cross and are following Christ. But a lot of these people aren't. They're most of them aren't. You know. So when I'm saying, you know, this message, people that might see it might, you know, might get into it. I don't know. You know, telling them they need to repent because this world is of the devil. Um, I've got people out there. That have been speaking against me. Which I don't really worry about that. Because like I said. We're not going to be doing this very much longer. And it's over. Um, just get ready man. Because like I said. It's going to be changing quite rapidly. And remember to keep a peace about yourself. Don't get aggravated. Don't let people. Don't give them any room to even debate with you. About your faith. Okay, because you've repented, you've turned towards the Lord. Don't let these people come in and rock that, because that's what they're going to try to do. They want to cause strife. Um, they want to get you all worked up, you know. Um, just remember what the Lord has done. And uh, he's all powerful, man. And he and vengeance belongs to him. He's going to deal with these people, including those that have come against me now. Because the truth of it is, they came against him. That's, you know, the Lord wanted this to get out. He wanted me to show it. Okay? So when somebody's coming against me about this, that was just a moment ago to them when they did it. And, yeah, you know, I was 17, and you look at me now, you know. God bless you, man. Be with the Holy Spirit.